All right, the parts are starting to arrive for my next build. I know it's a little late in the cycle to be continuing investing in X570 and Zen 3. With Zen 4 right around the corner, but uh, it is what it is. I want it now, not later. Um, familiar. I've got a 1300G2 in my current uh, PC that I'm using. I ordered another one, and I ordered the G Plus 2. Not sure what the difference is between the two of them. And I also got... Oh, yeah, over there in the back is the 1300G2 for my current build. These are uh, EVGA brand official hybrid cooling kits. Or if you've got like a Furtherwind 3 Ultra or an XC3 30 series card, uh, and it's got the factory air cooler, uh, you can take the cooler off and convert it to a hybrid if you didn't have the opportunity to order a factory hybrid card uh, 5950X. Another 5950X, uh, CS3140, I like these, I have two of these in my current PC, I swear by them. Uh, I, uh, the retailer I ordered this from only had one left. Uh, I'm thinking of ordering uh, two 4 terabytes and putting them in RAID 0 for my next build. Um, they're very fast in RAID 0, and they're very fast by themselves, as well as you can see up to 75. 100 megabytes per second. Uh, X570 motherboard for the win model. I haven't seen a single review. I think I saw one regular unboxing from a channel that's not very big, but not a, like a review. And this is a motherboard. It's not the X570 Dark, it's the for the win 3 model. And so this next build I'm going to do, I'm going to use this many EVGA products as I can because I'm having a good experience with EVGA products lately. Um, having some trouble getting my hands on uh, a 3090 Kingpin, another one. That's what I'm currently using in my other primary computer. I would like to replicate that experience again with my next build because the one thing I like about it is the high boost. It's uh, when I flip the switch from the normal bio setting to the OC bio setting. I'm not even using EVGA's precision or the MSI. I'm not manually overclocking the GPU. It's just naturally with the factory OC bios going over two gigahertz and uh, it maintains a temperature of around 49 to 50 Celsius under full 4k HDR gaming. So that's what these are for is I want to Depending on which card I get next, if I can get another Kingpin, uh, I'm ready to water cool the next card. So stay tuned, I'll do another video of my existing computer build. Uh, so people have been requesting that.